is Dr. Bev Knox and you are listening to my psychology tutorials, learn psychology while you sleep. Technology has created a new way to meet potential partners. Online, yes, online dating. Some websites have tens of thousands of personal ads and one site claims 500,000 hits per day. What accounts for the remarkable growth in this phenomenon? Well, according to one study, four social forces are at work. First, a growing proportion of the population is single. So more people are looking. Second, Career and time pressures lead people to seek more efficient ways to look. Third, single people are highly mobile, increasing the difficulty of meeting people. Fourth, workplace romance is less acceptable due to concerns about sexual harassment. Surveys suggest that the people seeking partners online are educated, affluent, 20 to 40 year olds who don't have the time or taste for single bars. Impatience drives many singles to the digital meat market. Telephone interviews in 2005 with a sample of adults found that 11% of internet users had visited an online dating site. Users say that one advantage of meeting on the net is that the technology forces you to focus on the person's interests and values. This focus facilitates finding a person with whom you have a lot in common with. Also, in many instances, you cannot see the person and so are not influenced by his or her physical attractiveness or lack thereof. You also do not have access to body language, facial expressions, posture, and other clues that provide information. As a result, your impressions are heavily influenced by imagination, which can create a powerful attraction to the other person. The relative lack of information about the person you are chatting with or exchanging emails with is the downside to online dating. The person may not be all he or she claims to be or how you imagine the person to be in your mind. Kaufman in 2012 analyzed love online by studying blog posts of men and women about their experiences. The appeal of online dating is that there are hundreds of prospects available with a few clicks of the mouse, giving the user a great sense of control. A minority of searchers actually go on a date, from 8% married to 15% never married to 21% divorced. If you arrange a date anything can happen. Doubts arise about whether to go. The person doesn't show up. Disillusionment occurs at first glance. The person doesn't match up with the photos, description, or your fantasy. The person had disgusting habits, body odor, or no manners. The person talks increasingly about exes. Indecision about kissing or going to a place ruins the date. Kaufman argues that this tremendous variety of outcomes, including many that neither party wanted, reflects the lack of scripts for these dates. In part, the lack of scripts reflects the newness of the phenomenon, but in part it reflects the difficulty of devising scripts for diverse types of users. In recent years, online dating sites have enlisted the help of researchers in developing a scientific approach to pairing clients. The most renowned is eHarmony, thanks to its outgoing founder, Neil Clark Warren, 
Similar sites include Chemistry.com, whose chief advisor is a sociobiologist, Helen Fisher whose system was developed by Dr. Pepper Swartz. Each site uses clients' responses to an online questionnaire to match them. How do they differ? Each site has its marketing strategy. eHarmony, following the research on attraction, uses a 300-question survey to assess 29 traits and attributes, a broad range of attitude and personality domains. Couples are matched based on a relative similarity on each domain. Chemistry.com focuses on pairing adults who will experience a spark when they first meet. PerfectMatch.com uses the duet system. Based on 48 questions, assessing eight domains. Schwartz believes that a well-matched couple should be similar on romantic impulsivity, personal energy, outlook and predictability and different on flexibility decision making style emotionality and self-nurturing style several researchers assess online dating from the perspective of relationship science and consider the degree to which online dating algorithms and practices fit with what we know scientifically Online dating sites claim to produce outcomes superior to traditional methods of meeting, dating, and developing a committed relationship. But is this likely? Research over the past 40 years has identified three classes of influence on relationship success. Personal characteristics, individual change, and external uncontrollable events. Online dating sites can only measure and provide information about variables in the first group. Research indicates that variables that are categorized account for only a small part of the long-term outcome. Bottom line, Claims by these sites produce a superior outcome are impossible to justify. If a long-term intimate relationship is your goal, online dating is not likely to get you there, according to research.